uh, latest uh, film of yours that we saw at Gallery C, and mm -hmm. uh, I have seen that film before also at the Shivas Vigar thing in 2019. Yeah. So if you a little bit about how you because very interesting uh, objects in the film, where it was shot and why you thought this was uh, an exploration in love. Well, to begin with, uh, I mean, it's I was asked to make something about uh, the idea of love. Uh, probably because I had made this exhibition called uh, Love. You know, the title was Love in 2006. And I think that had certain kind of resonances uh, in the sense that it became like, you know, uh, it was quite well kind of distributed in the public domain. So I think, you know, they asked me to do like, you know, <clears throat> redo something with love. And uh, I chose six practitioners from Hindustani classical music and uh, asked them to sing six uh, uh, love songs. So it's the expression of love came through, you know, this various kind of uh, ideas that could also be very, very generic to, you know, a lot of our understanding of love. Uh, but yet it, it is something of an emotion that is deeply personal at the same time. Uh, so it's inclusive with the idea of, you know, something that is deeply internal in nature, uh, an emotion that is deeply kind of felt with by all of us. And you also said that, uh, you know, you wanted to explore that whole thing of the spectrum where love and loss can exist together. Is love possible without an impending sense of loss? I think, yeah, I think, you know, like love cannot be expressed. Uh, uh, I mean, a lot of the songs in itself, in the content of the songs, that is about, you know, like separate, having been separated from the beloved, or, you know, there's a sense of, you know, uh, <clears throat> longing as well in all those songs. And how best can you kind of express that in terms of making an image out of it uh, was also a certain concern that I was dealing with. Shunyagar uh, essentially came from, uh, came out of one Doha uh, that may have been uttered literally, not necessarily written in the <clears throat> 12th century by this great uh, poet Goraknath, uh, who's considered to be uh, the guru of uh, Kabir in many ways, as he acknowledges it, who comes maybe 300 years later. And uh, very often than not, in a lot of these Zohas, the first line uh, proposes a set of images, and the second line comes up with an entirely diverse set of images. So if you were to dismantle you know, those two lines, you lose the meaning of uh, the poetry. But it kind of uh, works, you know, the space between, you know, these images. Uh, he says, Shunya Ghar Shehar, Shehar Ghar Basti. And uh, he establishes this, you know, whole city, you know, whole, uh, you know, uh, a setup which is like abundant in nature. Uh, then he also is saying that it's all empty at the same time, in that same line. And then the second line goes, Kon Sota Kon Jage Hai, you know. Uh, so if this, you know, the city is empty, you know, this entire kind of setup is empty, then uh, where is the question of, you know, someone having been asleep or awake? Uh, that is something that kind of interested me, which is very, very close to, uh, I found that it's very, very essential, this kind of notion of, you know, kind of constructing things at the same time, within the same space of experience, you're deconstructing it. Uh, so that is something that uh, that 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 interests me in the sense that that allows me in some ways to make sense of you know how we uh, relate with the world and how we kind of what are those communications and what are those you know like you know uh, instances in communication that uh, that we can make sense of. So how do I bring in that those notions into my work is one of my uh, one of my concerns here. Yeah. No, and you also have uh, spoken about it, how you build into uh, a, an artwork itself its imminent collapse. So that, you know, in, even in this film, yeah. uh, we, it, it comes as a very unexpected thing, you know, mm -hmm. this idea of this mm -hmm. And yeah. it falls very slowly. And then uh, this question I had in mind that why did you choose to have that table with the broken chandelier only outside of the film in every place that the film will be shown because uh, what is, uh, why that question? 
you know one of the things is you know when you make moving images there is a condition that uh, as a viewer as well you follow that you know there has to be something that is you know kind of comes as a suspense possibly uh, in the ending so i wanted to break into that i wanted to make it a kind of you know circular experience in the sense that you see this broken uh, broken chandelier on the dining table already before you know you have seen the film so there is you know it's also cut into this whole notion of you know suspense within the thing and what happens is the image of it's falling it's uh, in like you know super slow motion so it kind of also takes it away from a real breakup so you have seen something that is in real that is like completely broken and you imagine a certain kind of crash but you know the image itself on in the cinema in the in the video um defies that in some ways that it's kind of completely kind of fictionalized in that sense no because it also has a very some kind of a reconciliation or a calming thing when you see the chandelier break one last question i had was that how difficult was it this uh, film and this whole abundance of images that you have you know you talk about this inside and outside because inside is almost uh, empty i'm also acutely aware of the you know certain artifice that you are setting up as a show uh so my question here really is in most of my work can you include that artifice into the making of the work and presenting it so you have to kind of when you confront this this is like a setup that you see it as a setup you know a theat theatrical setup in some ways for example the crashing of the uh of the chandelier onto the table uh which is revealed right in the beginning like i said earlier uh that in some ways uh, kind of may evoke certain kind of ideas of crash of all kinds of crashes that you may know or you know you have seen or experienced yourself uh but at the same time nothing is given to you in that sense on a platter that the crash on the screen is is you know entirely kind of on, in like a very like a simple device that is used uh in a way that it comes so slowly that it's almost beautiful you know you have it on the table the bits of the chandelier which are actually also froze that moment for you to think and in my opinion and i don't i mean this was my interpretation that your work this one is called age of love but it's also it's it's, it's a protest Mm -hmm. you know to protest against this whole idea of obsolete because you take those objects assume another functionality and you pose that question mm -hmm. there is an element of protest also over there mm -hmm. i don't know if it's correct but that is also like how you say you don't impose yeah your uh, story so much the protest yeah not so much in uh, political terms in that sense and i think you know like uh, assertion of a certain kind of world view through your work uh, can itself be termed as you know uh, being political and it also kind of helps layer the work with like you know i mean in the case of shunyagar you know every piece of the wood that is used to build this huge kind of mini complex uh, of a set uh, was acquired from chor bazar it would have you know uh, belong to various homes Uh, or a dismantled structures in and around, around bombay uh, so it's it's a way of kind of bringing in all those stories even untold or unknown uh, together uh, in some ways which allows for it to have many 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 layers of uh, layers of percept i mean understanding yeah. no what i like about the works and i don't know i haven't seen uh, the other film shunegar i think i saw it once in your studio because mm. they allow all the for life you know when i saw this other film that you just made which obviously is not out it kind of like you know every time you watch the film it's a different kind of viewing because you know every time there's something that that comes to your mind uh, so yeah so thank you so much uh, for talking to outlook the <laughs> 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 <laughs>
सबनित जागत बीती उमरिया सबनित जागत बीती उमरिया चंचल चपल मन गयो रिहार कोयल जाकार करता पुग कर पुकार पुकार कोयल जाकार करता पुकार करता पुकार करता पुकार पवन पुरवाई भय सनन सनन पवन पुरवाई भय सनन सनन जियराल सानी भावे न पिया बिन जियराल सानी भावे न पिया बिन पवन पुरवाई भय सनन सनन पवन पुरवाई पवन पुर वाई बहे सन न न न न न उन बेन कैसे कटे दिन रैन उन बेन कैसे उन बेन कैसे कटे दिन रैन उन बेन कैसे कटे दिन रैन पल छीन मेरो राम रंग युग से जात बेल माए बैन ने अकिन पवन पुरवाई भय सनन सनन पवन पुरवाई भय सनन सनन पवन पुरवाई पवन पुरवाई पवन पुरवाई भय सनन सनन 